Fatty liver disease is a condition that occurs when the liver stores too much fat. How can it be a threat to the heart if it's in the liver? Hello, this is Scope Care. We are raising health awareness one step at a time. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and switch on notifications to ensure that you do not miss any of our great videos. Let's get started with the topic for today. Okay, we know you learned about the function of the liver in elementary school, but here's a refresher. The liver is a vital organ that performs a variety of life-sustaining activities. Bile is produced by the liver and aids digestion. It also produces proteins for the body and stores iron. The liver is responsible for converting nutrients into energy. It also produces molecules that aid in the formation of blood clots, which aid in the healing of wounds. It also aids in infection resistance by producing immune factors and eliminating bacteria and poisons from the bloodstream. Fatty liver disease, also known as steatosis, is a common disorder caused by an excess of fat in the liver. There is a modest amount of fat in a healthy liver. When fat accounts for 5% to 10% of your liver's weight, it becomes an issue. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and alcoholic fatty liver disease, often known as alcoholic steatohepatitis, are the two kinds of fatty liver disease. Let's start with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. NAFLD is a type of fatty liver disease that isn't caused by drinking too much alcohol. There are two types of fatty liver. The first is simple fatty liver, which is characterized by fat in the liver, but little or no inflammation or damage to the liver cells. Simple fatty liver seldom progresses to the point of causing liver damage or problems. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, or NASH, is another condition in which you have inflammation liver cell destruction, and fat in your liver. Fibrosis, or scarring of the liver, is caused by inflammation and liver cell destruction. Cirrhosis, or liver cancer, may develop because of NASH. Let us now discuss the alcoholic fatty liver disease. Heavy alcohol use causes alcoholic fatty liver disease. The majority of the alcohol you consume is broken down by your liver and excreted from your body. However, the process of dismantling it can result in the release of hazardous compounds. These chemicals can harm liver cells, cause inflammation, and compromise your body's natural defenses. The more alcohol you consume, the more harm you do to your liver. The earliest stage of alcohol-related liver disease is alcoholic fatty liver disease. Acute alcoholic hepatitis and cirrhosis are the next phases. Let us now discuss how it relates to the heart. Fatty liver disease is linked to circulatory alterations such as hyperdynamic circulation with higher blood volume and cardiac output, as well as lower peripheral vascular resistance. Autonomic dysfunction is a prevalent finding in these patients and it plays a role in the hyperdynamic conditions etiology. The more severe the hepatopathy, the worse the heart rate variability becomes. Hepatocellular dysfunction markers are more accurate than cholestasis indicators in detecting autonomic abnormalities. Is fatty liver so bad? The fatty liver disease rarely causes major complications or impairs your liver's ability to operate correctly. Fatty liver disease, however, worsens with time for 7% to 30% of those who have it. It goes through three stages. First, your liver becomes inflamed or enlarged, causing tissue damage. Steatohepatitis is the name for this stage. When your liver is harmed, scar tissue grows next. Fibrosis is the medical term for this condition. Extensive scar tissue replaces healthy tissue is the third one. You have cirrhosis of the liver at this time. Cirrhosis of the liver is caused by extensive liver injury. The liver's function is slowed by the hard scar tissue that replaces healthy liver tissue. 
it has the potential to completely shut down liver function. Cirrhosis can result in liver cancer and liver failure. All right, friends, before we get into the next part of the discussion, if you appreciate what you've seen so far, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. People who are Hispanic or Asian are more likely to have fatty liver. It could also be a woman who is postmenopausal or has a lot of stomach fat. Fatty liver can occur in people who have high blood pressure, diabetes, or excessive cholesterol. Some people develop the fatty liver disease without having any other health problems. Obesity, type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, and the use of certain prescription drugs are all risk factors for developing the condition. Until the condition advances to cirrhosis of the liver, people with fatty liver disease frequently have no symptoms. If you do experience symptoms, they may include abdominal pain or a feeling of fullness in the upper right side of your abdomen or belly. Nausea, loss of appetite, or weight loss are all possible side effects. Jaundice is characterized by yellowish skin and whites of the eyes, along with extreme weariness or mental confusion, as well as a swollen abdomen and legs. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, consult your doctor as soon as possible. It's better to be safe than sorry, pal. So how is fatty liver disease detected given all of this? Fatty liver disease is difficult to detect because it typically has no symptoms. If you get abnormal findings on liver tests that you underwent for other reasons, your doctor may believe you have it. Your doctor will use your medical history, a physical exam, and a variety of tests, including blood and imaging tests, as well as a biopsy to determine a diagnosis. Your doctor will inquire about your alcohol consumption as part of your medical history to determine whether the fat in your liver is an indication of alcoholic fatty liver disease or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. He or she will also inquire about your medications to see if one of them is to blame for your non-alcoholic fatty liver. Your doctor will inspect your physique and measure your weight and height during the physical exam. An enlarged liver and symptoms of cirrhosis will be looked for by your doctor as signs of fatty liver disease. Blood tests such as liver function tests and blood count tests will almost certainly be performed on you. Imaging tests, such as those that screen for fat in the liver and the stiffness of your liver, may be required in some circumstances. Fibrosis or scarring of the liver can cause hepatic stiffness. A liver biopsy may be required in some cases to confirm the diagnosis and assess the severity of the liver damage. So what are the options for fatty liver disease treatment? For non-alcoholic fatty liver, doctors advise losing weight. Fat in the liver, inflammation, and fibrosis can all be reduced by losing weight. You should stop using a certain prescription if your doctor believes it is the cause of your non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. However, consult your doctor before discontinuing your medication. You may need to taper off the medication gradually and switch to a different one. There are no FDA-approved medications to treat NAFLD. Additional research is needed to see if a specific diabetes drug or vitamin E will help, but more research is needed. Stopping consuming alcohol is the most crucial element of treating alcoholic fatty liver disease. If you need assistance, consider seeing a therapist or enrolling in an alcohol treatment program. Some medications can help, either by lowering cravings or by making you sick if you consume alcohol. Cirrhosis can be caused by alcoholic fatty liver disease or one type of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Medicines, surgery, and other medical treatments can be utilized to treat the health problems produced by cirrhosis. If your cirrhosis progresses to the point of liver failure, you may require a liver transplant. If you have any of the types of fatty liver disease, there are some lifestyle adjustments you may make to help you keep your heart healthy. The first is to consume a nutritious diet that includes plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains while reducing salt and sugar intake. 
hepatitis A and B, influenza, and pneumococcal disease immunizations are all recommended. Hepatitis A or B, when combined with fatty liver, is more likely to result in liver failure. The other two immunizations are especially crucial for those with the chronic liver disease since they are more likely to catch infections. Be active and committed and exercise regularly to lose weight and minimize liver fat. Get your vitamin D by visiting a healing garden near you. Or if there aren't any, you can always make one yourself. When the skin is exposed to UVR emitted by the sun, anti-inflammatory mediators including vitamin D and nitric oxide are released. UVR exposure has been shown in studies to help prevent the development of fatty liver, whether alcoholic or not. Finally, before taking any food supplements such as vitamins or utilizing any supplementary or alternative medications or medical practices, see your doctor. Some herbal medicines have the potential to harm your liver. Keep in mind that your heart and liver work in tandem with the rest of your body's organs. As blood travels across liver cells, the nutrients in the blood are processed. Proteins and carbohydrates are produced as a result of this processing, which your body can use. Blood travels from the liver to the heart via the hepatic veins. This means that liver illnesses like fatty liver can harm your heart. Therefore, take care of your liver to keep your heart healthy and happy. Did you find this information relevant to you? That concludes today's video. Please subscribe to the channel and switch on alerts to receive updates of new uploads. Scope Care here, and we'll see you in the next video.